Pleasant good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night Wherever you guys watching all over the world It's your boy Dre, welcome back to Dre Anywhere the Sports Where I give you the latest news Breaking news and stories concerning my favorite teams and players For those of you who don't know Favorite teams Chelsea Football Club Los Angeles Lakers Barcelona FC Dallas Cowboys Harborview, Inter Miami FC, and of course the Jamaica national teams because man a yard man. Jamaica national teams include the senior team, the reggae girls, the under 20s, so on. Now, Leon Bailey and JFF. So there's an article in the Jamaica Observer written by Mr. Robert Bailey coincidence that Bailey's last name <laughs> but anyway Dennis Chung still requesting a letter of commitment from one Leon Bailey despite coming out in public and saying that the suspension has been lifted for the selection of Leon Bailey to the national senior team setup. It's down to the coach. That's what they said. Suspension lifted for his selection and it's down to the coach. Now Robert Bailey put out an article in the Jamaica Observer saying Mr. Chung still requests a commitment letter from one Leon Bailey on his intent to return to the national team for specifically September Nations League games versus Cuba at the National Stadium and Honduras away the thing is I feel I see it a little contradicting. I'm not sure if anybody gonna take the same stance on it, but you say his selection is down to the is up to the coach, but yet at the same time you require a letter of intent or commitment from the player. So the coach can select the player without him giving the JFF that letter of commitment or intent. Him and the coach can have a conversation and Leon can say to the coach, Hey, I'm available coach. Go ahead, put me in the squad. And the coach can have that dialogue and that understanding with Leon without the JFF getting that letter of intent, commitment. It's possible. Will it happen? It could happen. Can the JFF stop it from happening? No, they can't. So, I mean, what's this piss test? What, what what's this about? Coach and Leon can have the understanding, but I kind of get where the JFF is coming from, though. JFF is trying to protect the coach. And I say JFF because articles say uh, Dennis Chung. And we know who Dennis Chung is. So they're trying to protect the coach for what happened to Hargrimson to not <laughs> replay itself ugly face again. Where you put the player in the squad based on a conversation with his handler for the understanding that yes, the player is going to be available for selection you select the player in the squad and national tv then you get a call so the player can't be in the squad the player didn't agree to be in the squad and on social media that same night the player put you on blast misleading information just never look good look like unprofessionalism that same party shop professionalism rear its head again which the fans them youtube went crazy that same night 
the place was in an uproar because everybody was excited that Leon Bailey was available again because remember he, take, he took a break from the national team and uh, then when they see his name in the selection everybody got excited then little to know that the player says misleading information and then the coach name the name had to be taken out and I think it was replaced by Ronaldo Cifas I think it was uh, I don't remember but but anyway to avoid that chaos again the JFF is asking for a letter of intent commitment from Leon Bailey aka poster boy and I'm saying that the player can still return to the national team without that letter of intent so let me know what you guys think in the comment section where this is concerned is the letter really needed as as long as the player and the coach have an understanding that he will be re, he will return and the coach list him in his squad because it's clean slate the coach said it in his press conference his opening introduction introductory press conference he said it clean slate with all the players which I also find interesting because <laughs> the one player it is about it is about one Leon Bailey because he's the one who's he's stepping to the forefront and uh, list out the changes that he need to see happen within the JFF for him to return and he's taking a break in the meantime until this is rectified now has these changes been rectified has these adjustments been put in place is, is everything good between Leon and the JFF now mm, I don't think so I don't see it so it's a bit controversial one people so let me know what you guys think about this controversy back and forth between Leon and the JFF uh, they said that you know suspension Leon Bailey selection of national team has been lifted it's now down to the coach as what Mr. Speed said then after that now this morning wake up to news of article by Mr. Bailey in the Observer saying Dennis Chung said he still needs that letter of commitment, that letter of intent that Leon Bailey it will be available for the upcoming um, selection process. He needs it in writing. So I understand both sides of it, but he can still not sign no letter or write no letter and be in, in in the squad but the JFF is just trying to protect the coach they stand there not trying to protect themselves I think it's a coach that the JFF trying to protect with this one but big up on yourself people thanks for taking time out of your busy day joining me over here you know as I give you the latest news and stories concerning my national team the Jamaica national team and players and this one about one of our star players Leon Bailey Big up on yourself, people. Hit the like button, share the video, tell a friend, tell a friend, tell a family member about Joy Anyway the Sports. Until next time, I say peace, love, unity, I'm out.